country. Miserable people. And we're in the worst of it. The Belgian. Chechen folktales don't concern me. Only Chechen bullets. But so many stories. And they all have the same ending. Anyone who enters the forest never leaves. What? Spence Lance Patrol Charlie ETA. Answer the radio. Yes, sir. Alpha Base, this is Charlie. About 15 minutes. 10 4, Charlie. Why'd you stop? At the last village, there was a child missing. We make ourselves a target out here. Radio control. This is Major Korkov. Investigating a bicycle. Radio control? What's wrong with the radio? I have no idea. Radio control. Haunted. Outside! Secure the area. Report anything. Russo gun. Remember, clean sweep, computers, maps, and weapons.
Oh, thank you. Looks like we found some decent intel on that laptop. Dude, got a Dell. <laughs> I want you to know you did real good down there. Thanks, sir. In basic at Fort Bragg, I saw some great soldiers. Moved up to the Delta, you are seeing the finest warriors that history can produce. Come to the Rack, and you are seeing the best within the best. And within that final elite group, they are all tied for second place because you, my friend, are a step ahead. I want you to know you did real good down there. But from a command standpoint, we cannot use you. You take risks. Going in without your gun drawn, stupid. There's no need for a lone wolf who pulls his unit into a hot situation. You need to trust the man next to you, exist within, within the, the command structure. Yeah, I hear it every time. Then write it down, Russo. Write it on your eyelids. Do you think it's boring hearing this? It is boring saying it. You point, I fetch. That's my job, but... That's all you want, fine. Job is in. Let's move out. Hi, Jim. Thanks for coming on such short notice. Yes, sir. Have a seat. Thank you, sir. I hate rescue operations. To rescue somebody means the machine broke down and I don't like the other team calling my place. And, thanks to you, we have their playbook. Because of that, Allied Command sent me a Rainmaker, WMDs. Nuclear, biological, chemical. Target the source, stop distribution. Your Iraqi raid exposed a network that is hell-bent on acquiring these weapons. Key money men, factory locations, most of which were in Europe, but there is one in our neighborhood. Four hundred miles to the north, the Belzan Forest in southern Russia, specifically the Chechen Republic. The Belzan Forest is impenetrable. Not even the Russians will touch it. Locals believe it is a mythical beast, easily woken. This is Katya Zemanova, counterterrorism, psyops, tactics. Dr. Benton Walsh, he was one of ours, employed by the army for medical research. But when the president cut stem cell funding, the army let him go. Now he's a fugitive. What? Wait a minute. She's on, she's on our side? She's agency. I've been tracking the doctor for a year through former Soviet states. His science is weapons grade, but he needs a sponsor. On the hard drive you recovered were references to a WMD doctor. Coordinates are inside the Belzan forest. The Chechen rebels are begging to fund anyone who can give them an ultimate weapon. Drop a daisy cutter on that number and problem solved. We can't bomb Russian territory. A Russian Spetsnaz team has been sent into the area. We need to extract the doctor before they do. His research is too valuable in anyone's hands but our own. You're gonna need good men in great numbers. Quiet and small. Keep the winning percentage high. One team, your Deltas. Ms. Zemanova will accompany as an advisor. Permission to speak candidly, sir? It's denied. But you are the commander of this operation. Bring this one home, Jim.
Bearcat 1, Bearcat 1. Who is it? Didn't get a clear look. Could be Keating. Not 100% on that. Yeah, that's Keating. Total FUBAR. 10-4, sir. Are we go with plan B? It's a go. Russo, man, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> Dumb! Hey! Russo, stand down! Yeah. Russo, stand down! Dumb! Stand down! Nice shot. Russo, go have that check with the medic. Yes, sir. I have noticed between missions that activity in this camp resembles a tie shore leave. Shore leave are for sailors, soldiers. Tell me, you know how I feel about sailors in my army. Yes, sir. I'm gonna give you a bit of advice, Mr. Popularity. You will never be a leader rebuilding latrines. So why don't you just pick three of these sailors to help you? Yes, sir. Seated. Where's Danny? Work duty, sir. Again? Yes, sir. Who's this civilian? Katya Zeminova, direct from Langley. She'll be non combatant. Russo, combatant. Our medic, Lieutenant O'Neill, and my RTO. Name's Candel, ma'am. You can call me Candu. Right. And my right hand, my LTC. Pleasure to meet you, ma'am. All right. <clears throat> the bell's in forest. Heavy cloud coverage makes satellite imaging impossible. Thermals found a hot spot. This will be our target. Expect unpredictable weather changes. Tomorrow, 0830, faster open search into the LZ. Two clicks by foot to the forest. Expect RPGs and heavy resistance. When you step inside the bells, you know that you are entering a completely unknown, hostile environment. Dense foliage, open pockets, a river. The rest is rumor. It's bigger than New York City and more dangerous. Our target is the doctor. Straightforward extraction, keep him alive. All other hostiles eliminated. Outline transit will be a stolen Russian MI-8. Extraction point will be the southern tip down here. This is a town that survived the first Chechen war. It was abandoned mysteriously one year ago. The Russians used it as a staging area, so will we. Yes, sir. Who are we shooting at? Chances are Chechen rebels have set up a camp. They'll do anything to protect the doctor. But we've also got a Russian Spetsnaz team in the same theater. So rules of engagement apply. This is not a fantasy league or video game. We will not run what-if scenarios with Russia's elite. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Russo. And, sir, you gotta admit, Delta vs. Spetsnaz, that's a pretty cool video game. Can it? Anything you want to add? Rebels normally run in ten-man cadres, but expect a more spread-out force in the forest. Count on them to fight. And keep fighting, even after they've stopped breathing. Look for pulled pins and tripwires on bodies. Your death is their glory. And on that, dismissed. Colonel, so we're clear, not only am I bringing a weapon on this mission, I'm also trained to use it. I can take the safety off and everything. Understood. And for the record, I've never been to Langley. 
I am not from any farm. I trained in the field. With all due disrespect, did we run out of Americans? Because if we did, I'm sure there's a few British chicks that can do the job. I was born in Russia, but I am also an American citizen. I'm well versed in constitutional law. And on the 4th of July, I like to blow things up. Is that Yankee doodle dandy enough for you, Colonel? Why would they stay? You get the ammo, I will protect you. I have position. Hugo! You cannot shoot! I shoot the same as you. You run faster! That's because you are fat! I'm not fat! You are fat! You ate all your food already. I will shoot you right here. Okay, I'll go. Why would they stay, right? But next time, no shortcuts. Did you get him? Yes, sir. Double tap. All right, well, here's your radio, cowboy. Fully juiced. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, I just want to tell you, I'm glad you're on this op with us. Was it my aftershave? No, sir, it's uh, just that you're the only one that Russo listens to. Maybe Captain Russo's gonna surprise some of you guys this trip. Nah, I hope not. Surprise is the best form of attack, sir. You lost, boy? Colonel's orders. Something about teaching you girls how to hunt. Mm. <laughs> you good to go? Yeah, ready. CIA, Russian, woman. Triple threat. Sounds more like three strikes to me. <laughs> Don't fall for farm girls, Downey. They're human shields. The good news is about having two girls on the mission. What's that? Close to drop. <laughs> Save my feet. <laughs> all Delta such pansies. Oh, not all. Hey, is that thing loaded? Yeah. You know, in the Marines, payback's called friendly fire. Then I'm damn proud to be Delta. Yes, sir. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Full capacity. You mad at me? Tell you what, when we get back, I bake you a bun cake. We're getting one of our own guys? It was one of ours. We better get him before anyone else does.
Nap time's over. Two minutes. Two! Gear up! Radio check. Loud and clear. Roger, roger. Martinez, any movement up ahead? Nothing, Colonel. Eyes open, everybody. We're about ten clicks out. You hear that? What, sir? Nothing. No birds, no animals. Not even insects. What the? Dead deer? Deers don't wear uniforms. Easy. Oh man, that looks Whatever like... Whatever it is, it looks like it's been chewed up and spit out. What we got here? It's hard to say, sir. Whoever this was got completely blown apart. Dead three or four days. Where's the blast damage? The grenade fragments? Kalashnikovs on the ground, brand new AKs. Sir, these boys panicked. They were shooting in every direction. Well trained in any terrain, the U-names rotated constantly, the elite. Chechens didn't do this. Then what then? Bears? Stalin's ghost? Let's move, still got some ground to cover. Heads up, eyes open. You don't mind, do you? You take the bullet. So, gone. Besides the stench, probably a weapons testing facility. Some of the docks early work. Check out this gear. Daddy likes to watch. Yeah, I can see that. Kendall, check the radio. Yes, sir. Russian army, new issue. Probably stolen. What do you got? Nothing. Nothing but static. Looks like troop movements. 
Yeah, maybe, but this coordinate is right there. Clear. Don't let your guard down. I got this. So your boy's a bird watcher? No feathers, no birds. Bats. Bats did this. And I'll bet that's what fed on the bodies we found. He was strapped in. What do you got? Another body and bats. Bats? Did she say bats? Oh. <clears throat> Man, I'm telling you. Bats don't eat meat. They don't. Move out! Candale, back me up on this, man. Bugs and fruit, as far as I know. Shoot, there was a colony up there to school I went to in Austin. Me and my girlfriend used to sit up there on the Congress Avenue Bridge, drink beers, watch them fly around all night. Hell, she thought they were cute. Right. They are cute. Hold that thing up to the tree. Flying chameleon? Meat-eating flying chameleon. Check this out. Blends in with the tree. I'll bet that's what got the Spetsnats. don't really believe those tales, do you? If you make a joke of it, you'll be cursed. Uh, don't be silly. You don't believe setting foot into the forest would actually get us killed. If we don't get through the forest before it gets dark, then we'll be in danger. No. We must go around. Wait a minute. I'll prove it to you. If what you were saying was true, I would be dead by now. Ah, uh, enough with the silly superstitions. Let's go. Must be the birds. Why were you running? Downey, get up there. Yes, sir. What's a beautiful woman like you leading Deltas in a place like this? The colonel wants you to hang back. Russo has point. Which do you think means more to me? The men or the mission? Uh, definitely not men. 
Good. Then we can agree on one thing. You're a means to an end. You got this cute little anger thing going. I like it. You have a problem too. With what? With Russian women. With Russian women? God, no. I hate the agency. I once read that Spartans, greatest warriors on the planet, used to sing as they marched into battle. Top of their lungs, freak out their enemies. What army did you sign up for? I'm a student of warfare, man. Singing relaxed them. Most of the battle takes place in your mind. Yeah? I'll tell your folks. At your funeral. Don't be stupid. O'Neill! The little doc take a look at you. 12 degrees north! How many out there? At least two! Lay down cover fire! I can cross that distance in seven seconds! Russo, damn it! Martinez, take control of your man! Colonel, down and I will flank the second shooter! Roger that! But, sir! Russo! Cover your eyelids and read the message. Go! All right, Russo. One shot. When you have it, take it. This one's been fed on as well. Oh, jeez. Same Spetsnaz team. I want answers. Full disclosure. Will it make you run any faster? Shoot any better? Listen, lady, we just gave cause for World War III. Who's out there? I don't know. Another bad victim? He wouldn't have lived the hour, Colonel. Looks like we just averted World War III. Move out! How do you feel? I feel good. I should probably stop trying to picture her naked. No doubt. The chick will take it to hell and back. Travel the bells and pass. No more than is needed. Being witness to any strange events. Like two farmers force it onto a truck. Even stranger. Have you seen anyone in the woods? You know of us? We know nothing. We've seen nothing. You've seen me! Answer truthfully. Two days ago, patrol went missing along the pass. Tell me who did it. We know nothing. Please believe us. Why do you protect the rebels? We do not. Nobody goes into the Belzan. What goes on in there? Our ship go missing. Then villagers. You get too close, you go missing too. Unlikely.
Sound the call. The whole battalion prepped and ready in one hour. Affirmative. Where the hell are you? Staring at a power line. Half a click from the first sniper. Coming to you. Copy that. Delta Force, welcome to the party. Russo, what happened? Soldier. Out to C4 under a pressure plate. Or a tripwire. Trees are marked like minefields. Either way, Martinez is gone. There's that sound again. What'd you see out there? Nothing. This is rebel territory. It's a trap. Yeah, well, trap or not, that's our destination. Hotspot coordinates are in those trees. All right. Single file. I got point. Wait for my... Psst. This is it. Get down! Ah! Ah! 
those men to stand down, to keep the Americans in sight. I got this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm getting some, I'm getting some. Echo 25, come in. Echo 25, say again. We lost Kandel. Kandel didn't make it. Yankee 3 4, this is Echo 2 6, over. Yankee 3 4, this is Echo 2 6, emergency situation, over. Here, drink some water. Can't reach base camp without the radio. Candela has gone. Radio's gone. Yankee Downing. Three, four. This is Echo. Two six. <laughs> over. Worked it in the system. <laughs> Bunch of crap. <sighs> Watch your back. <sighs> O'Neill will make it to base camp. Her wounds are too deep. Well, we need to call in a medevac. Get her evac immediately. There's no time for that. She's slowing us down already. Just what do you suggest? Make a tough decision. <laughs> I don't know what they teach you at Langley, but O'Neill's as tough as they come. She'll make it until we say otherwise. O'Neill's in bad shape. Extraction's an hour after sunset, but she needs an evac now. We're not going anywhere. Right now, we're the experiment. Hey, what about O'Neill? What about Martinez? You think I'll leave here without popping the doctor? Look, we see bats, Chechens. Count on a strong Russian response from the team they lost. Russians find us, we're dead. There's no room for revenge, man. It's the system. We're Delta, act like it. You giving orders now? After Martinez and the Colonel, I am ranking officer. That and $20 will get you a happy ending. We're still getting the doctor. Can't find them, sir. What do we do? How was life in America? Your early years, the formative ones. I've never been to America. Oh, that's right. That's me. And you never went to medical school, did you? No. You were born about 30 miles from these woods, trained to hunt and shoot before you ever saw a television. You couldn't tell a polypeptide from hemoglobin. Yet you think I'm better suited to advise on military matters, on search and destroy, on the very thing you're paid to do. They've slipped off the map. We'll find them, sir. Good. I'd hate to have to breed your replacement. No way of telling how many are inside. Let's move. Katya O'Neill. 
Hold position here, lay down supporting fire. Take the two to the east. I'll clear an extraction path on the west side. Who gets the doctor? Stay here. You cover us. Dr. Benton Walsh, you are now property of the United States of America. Let's move. Much R&D as I could find. These rebels are loaded. Guns, grenades, C4. I got a WMD hardware store back there, but none of the pieces fit. Rocket cases, triggers, fuel cells, a whole bunch of almost and not quite. They bought anything they could get their hands on. Yeah? How much for you? The bats are coming back. We need to get inside. Get ready to move out. Save it. I'm not going anywhere. Yes, you are. I can't feel my legs. I can't stand up. What part of that sounds like I can walk? You lean on me like before. <laughs> Do I have to spell it out for you? I'm dead. The clock ran out on me an hour ago. I'll cover you. When you get back, just tell them. Listen, lady, I go back without you and down you rolls a grenade in my tent, and I'm sure as hell not staying here. Now get on your feet and move. Move. All right. Echo 1-5, do you copy? Echo 1-5, come in. What's causing the interference? The sequence is still running. Shut it down. If you shut down the computer, you lose control of the experiment. You take off the leash. Don't care as long as it saves my team. Suit yourself.
You killed my only friend. That means you're gonna die. Without me, you won't get within a mile of your rendezvous. Hey! We don't have time for this. The meantime! I'll get you out. I can drag you away from the bat. Why should we believe anything you say? Because you and I want to live. We lost on Neil, man. It's time to settle up. <laughs> Take the intel. He's coming with us. Are you crazy? This man is my prisoner. You keep him alive, zero chance of making it. You think if he got free, he wouldn't gut you in a second? I need my hands. Negative. What happens to me, happens to you. Just a few, you're probably safe. Downey, transport carrier. Let's take it, move. Freaking bats. Read it to me. Radar station detected an abrupt change in radio interference change around the Belzan forest. It's gone. They triangulated the origin. No! Good luck, sir. What is it? Good news. See anything? Only trees. And no bats. I read your dossier. Born in America. Schooled in America. Employed by America. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. America makes very good killers. And not even a thank you. 
Tell me, Doc. What did we do to you? What did America do to me? Lied. We say every man has basic human rights. No. You have the right to nothing. The world belongs to the strong. That's how it works. That's the, uh, natural order. Dowdy, Dowdy. Coming up on a fence. Fence? Keep going. Keep going. Roger that. You might want to buckle off. This truck is a Russian. They don't have any seat belts. Don't you move. Why'd we stop? Yeah, we have some sort of visual out in the front block in the truck. Roger. Let's check it out. Copy. This shouldn't have happened. What the hell's this? Another great moment in science. These are ours, our food supply. Dead less than 24 hours. You did this. You interrupted the sequence. Face it, Doc. Your control was slipping, or you never had it. Cover, cover! What, Russians? Chechens. Patrol by the river. He led us into an ambush. I thought Deltas were the best. Shut up. They're moving. Trying to flank us. All right. We pull back. Pull back. Russo, the mission has priority. My priority is killing the enemy, whoever they might be at the moment. Can't go left, can't go right, can't go back. We're being herded. Let's move. Russo, let's move out on my six. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I'm the one who found your hiding place in Kiev. Bomb you left. Kill the good man. I hope you were close. Because you're going to see him very soon. <laughs> Downey, stop! What? Marked. For a reason. We're Delta. Act like it. Thanks. Don't let them get away! Russo, take point. Damn it. Right back to the cage. He turned us around. Kandel. No, no, hey, he's dead. Let it go. Where are the bats? They're here. Listen, I have an idea.
Let's oh. got this one. Find the rest. Careful, careful. Moving slowly. Past the trees, half a mile. I don't know. I think it's past the trees, a half a mile. Delta base. How well do you know this woman? Come in. Better than you. Watch her. She never lets the briefcase out of her sight. Planting the seeds of doubt, huh? Delta base, come in. There's not a government in the world that wouldn't kill us for what's in that case. You hear anything? Low-level chatter. Sometimes it's used to mask a big operation. Sometimes it's just low-level chatter. Well, good news. Hour after sunset, this is all in the rearview mirror. Let's move out. Russo. Go, 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 go. Down it. Sit him down. All clear. Okay. We hold here. I'm gonna set the beacon. Roger that. Rescue 3-5, we have a beacon signal. Roger base, beacon clear. Moving toward extraction. Spies get bonuses. It's classified. Maybe I'm in the wrong service. This teamwork stuff sucks. You're more the lone wolf type. Drop me in Afghanistan before 9-11. The world would be a different place. So you depend on time travel? It helps. I like working alone. It took 14 months, two dozen agents and a Delta team to bring in Walsh. He's a tough man to catch and not for lack of good intel. In the end, we got lucky. You never work alone. Where's Downey? Setting the beacon, marking the LZ. Relax. I'll relax when we land at base camp. He has a history of escape. Look, head down, shoulders slumped. That's a man who knows he's been captured. That's when he's the most dangerous.
Russo, do you copy? Copy, over. Clear here, coming back to you. It appears you have me at a disadvantage. We've never met, but you know all about me. Then you should know that I'm not coming back to America. That better men have tried. You know that these men will die unless you release me. The man you killed was a damn fine agent and my mentor. And one day in May, he would have been my husband. <laughs> Goodbye, doctor. Ugh! Next time, be on time. Yes, sir. Helicopters and away, sir. Thank you for your escort. I leave you to your reunion with the motherland, Agent Katya Zamanova. It will be a short one. Where's the other Delta? I thought he was with you. Oh! And the case over. I don't think so. Born and bred to crave all blood, except mine. A little DNA for my own safety. You can stay and die, or you can run. Run for your life. Since we're going to destroy the intel anyway, two for one. This is for Martinez. Roger, Tower. Beacon unchanged. Moving in towards extraction. I 
Guess he's not coming back. How bad is he? It's not looking good. He's in and out of consciousness. He needs a medevac right away. Extraction team's already en route. It's the best I can do. By air? Did you see what happened to the last helicopter? What else you got? We got any more mags? No. What are you thinking? I'm gonna go back to the lab, turn on the computer, call the bats back, blow the place at kingdom come. You're not serious. If I don't, nobody goes home. The Russians are coming. If you're lucky, you'll go to prison. Most likely, you'll be shot as a spy on sight. I told you teamwork sucks. Don't wait for me. I'll find my way out. That's an order. Wait! This is suicide. What makes you think you'll make it? Bats bounce off me. Air power will take hit. I want troops on the ground now. If we miss the battle, I will not miss the war. Boom. Is this it? There's one more out there. We gotta go. <laughs> Russians are inbound, coming right at us. We need to get back to the lab to get to Russo.
Только один? Это ты! Откуда ты? Знаешь, язык сильный, но деликатный орган. Его можно сжечь, отрезать. Я, парень здоровый, целую неделю продержусь. А ты? Уберите его! accepted the broadcast of a debriefing of Russian forces who led a raid on a terrorist stronghold. Here's Paul James with a special report. Russian troops located and destroyed a biological weapons crap. laboratory located in the Hey, welcome back, soldier. That's the problem with secret missions. The better you do them, the less the world knows about it. Did we? The mission. We did it, right? Doctor's dead. You're not. Mission accomplished. 